We all know that every human being are mortal and have to die one day. But will it be possible for any human or living being to cheat death? Can science ever progress enough to revive dead humans, or turning them immoral? You might be surprised to know that, an American company is already working on this project. They are working hard on the formula to cheat death. The way designing an airplane is called aeronautics, designing electronic devices as electronics, and designing a robot is robotics. Similarly the field of preserving dead bodies in hopes of resurrecting them is called cryonics. Experts are very hopeful that after 50 or 70 years, medical science will be so advanced that it will prevent people from dying, or even resurrect dead people. So for the people who wish to be resurrected after dying, and have enough faith in medical science, there is a company named Alker, based in Scottsdale in Arizona. It seems to be a pretty normal office from outside, but if you look from inside, the scenario is kind of strange. There are 300 dead bodies in these big steaming containers made of steel, and 33 pet animals were frozen here in hopes of their resurrection. Alker's team believes that they are also normal people, just their hearts don't beat and they are sleeping for a long period of time, apart from that, every part of their body is in perfect condition. We can also say that, time has stopped for these 300 people for several decades. Medical science believe that they will resurrect them in the future, as we have seen in science fiction movies like Time Machine and Time Travel. The temperature inside these containers is colder than the world's coolest place Antarctica. The temperature inside these containers filled with liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius, which is being controlled 24 hours a day by a computer, and backup generators are there in case of a power cut. A big container contains four full-body patients and five patients whose only heads are preserved. This small container is designed only to freeze the head and face. Cryonics researchers believe that, when they are resurrected their face and brain will be their own, but their other body parts will be artificial. They will remember everything prior to their death, and they will be able to use their brains as normal human beings, their artificial body will receive signals from their brain, and their artificial heart will pump the blood as a real heart does. But the question is, how will all this be possible? Cryonics is not as simple as it seems, just putting the body into the liquid nitrogen will not work, it is a complex process and very costly. It costs around $220,000 to cryoprotect a full body, and one has to pay around $80,000 before death for cryoprotecting the head. After accepting the conditions, when all the documentation is completed, the patient's name is added to Alker's waiting list. That means the doctors at Alker started waiting for the patient to die. A remote team of doctors who are always on call for 24 hours, when they get to know the patient is about to die, they start making their special arrangements in the hospital. The patient is brought to Alker's facility within half an hour of their death, and the procedure for cry protection is immediately started. Experts believe that the faster this process is started after their death, the higher the chances of their resurrection. But what is that process, which is very important for resurrection? After the death, the heart stops and the blood flow in the veins also stop. When the blood supply doesn't reach different organs, every organ start failing. Before cry protection process, it is important to keep the blood flow intact in the patient's body, so the brain and other organs keep receiving blood. For that reason, a mechanical pump is fitted to the patient's chest which artificially pumps blood to their body parts, but this doesn't end here, after that all the blood is drawn out of the patient's body, and a special chemical is induced instead of that blood. Now it is important to note that, human body constitutes 60% water, so if it comes into contact with liquid nitrogen, then the water inside the cells of the body will become crystals, and the body cells will break and it would not be possible to repair them. Doctors at Alker believe that to protect patients' bodies, an antifreeze liquid is inserted in their veins, and gradually the body temperature drops. Normal water's freezing point is 0 degrees Celsius and for antifreeze liquid it's minus 100 degrees Celsius. The benefit is that when the body's temperature drops, the organs freeze before this antifreeze liquid and a point comes when the body becomes solid as a rock. At that point the body is put inside the liquid nitrogen tank, where it can remain preserved forever at minus 196 degrees Celsius. While passing through these steaming containers, it feels like you are passing through a graveyard. It is very hard to believe that with the help of new technology, they might be brought back to life again. Patients' photos are attached outside every container, and their families will be able to visit them regularly. We have seen the concept of cryonics in science fiction movies like Captain America and Star Wars, but is science fiction becoming reality or not?
Tell me your thoughts about this in the comments section. We are sure that you will like this video, so do not forget to like the video, and subscribe to the channel, we will meet you soon with another new video.